guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a haul for you. It's from Aldi. This week I spent $47. Ooh, I gotta dial this back on my spending. Um, but I'll go over with you what I bought and what my meal plan is for the week. I grabbed some of my super clean pork sausage, buck 99. I love it. I got two packages of this turkey breast. It's very clean. It's $2.99 a pound. No, $2.99 for a half a pound. Uh, so $6 a pound. So I grabbed a pound. I'm making sandwiches this week. I grabbed a thing of Monterey Jack. I got some more Parmesan. Some Gouda. What I'm going to try to do is make, and I'll show you if it works out, the bagel recipe into bread and slice it. So we'll see. So I grabbed some Gouda for that. I got a sharp cheddar, two mozzarella, two cream. These are staple items for me. Some of my little sausages, which I love. Some butter. These were 89 cents for the wrapped English cucumber, so I grabbed two of those. Some ranch to dip it in. I got some classic guacamole singles. I've been loving these lately. I was out of parm, so I grabbed this kind of parm as well. Pork rinds, we always have to have those. I grabbed two cream cheese. Some lettuce for my sandwich and some mushrooms. Um, my plan this week, I have chicken, or no, I, I have pork chops uh, defrosting. I'm going to make tomorrow some pork and sauerkraut. And then sandwiches and alternate between dinners and lunches with those. Or maybe freeze up some lunches for next week with the pork and sauerkraut. Eat a couple nights and do that. Um, but I'll bring you along when I put that together in the morning. So here is my Aldi haul for the week. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday at 7.30, and I'm getting ready to put on my pork and sauerkraut. I know it's a little odd for a summer meals, but I just love it, and I will show you in a minute why I'm making it. But today we have some hazelnut coffee. Oh, so good. I've already been to CVS. I did my couponing. I got some really good deals. Ah. Uh, and now I'm gonna start my day. I wanna get this pork on the slow cooker. I'm gonna do sandwiches and pork and sauerkraut this week. I think I mentioned that in my haul. So I need to put it on and then I'll rotate throughout the week, which I'm eating for what meal. Give it a little excitement, if you will. All right, I'm gonna switch our direction and show you how I do pork and sauerkraut and I'll talk to you about this pork because it is beautiful so give me one second all right don't mind my sink I'm getting ready to wash those so these are my pork chops they are from my cousin gave them to me and he got them I'm pretty sure it was a farm an Amish farm but if not might as well have been so these are not mega farm bread. They are from a local farmer here in Ohio. And look how thick that is. He gave me a pack of five. Because they love me. And I love them. His wife, my cousin Debbie. So Eric is cousin Eric. Debbie is my cousin Debbie. And then the little cousins are her kids. Their kids, Addie and Riley. Riley is 16 and a half, I think. He just got his license. And I think Addie's 12. I don't know. I don't keep up with that stuff. But they're cute and I love them. All right. So pork chops go in. Um, like I said, they are local and they are going to be delish. Let's turn this on low. And then I have, this is Schmidt's, which is a local restaurant, German sauerkraut if you don't like sauerkraut then obviously this is not the meal for you but this is pretty keto friendly um there's a nice fat layer on the pork chops i'll have something fatty with it maybe it's some avocado or some oh because i need to add my fat good good reminder Lori. good reminder um i'll probably have avocado or guacamole or something maybe but i also put in a stick of butter when I make roast pork and it really gives it a nice mouth feel it's very creamy um, plus it adds some fat to it that I need and then I do pepper 
I don't do a ton of pepper. I love it, but I'll put it on too when it comes out. But a little bit of pepper. Ugh, my arm. Okay, well that's gonna be enough, so that's all I can hold it. Okay, and then I add coriander. And coriander mm, has a nice, bright, almost citrusy scent to it to me. And it just adds some brightness to the meat and to the, some depth, I think, to the sauerkraut. And that is it. That's all I do to my roast. Now, if you're a meat or a potato eater, you can add potatoes, you can add vegetables, but I try to keep as minimal as possible. And that is it. So it's on. I'll bring you back. I'm gonna make a sandwich for tomorrow to show you with my bread. But this will go most of the day. It'll all melt down. All right, we'll be back. Alrighty, I'm getting ready to make some peanut butter cookies and I have a pro tip for you and <laughs> my pro tip When I buy this organic peanut butter and I actually got this at Kirkland or Costco and it was two of these for ten dollars So I think that's a pretty good deal. This is a 28 ounce jar, but you see all the oil on top how it separates it grosses me out. So what I do is I put my dough hooks on my mixer I will assume that a regular hook will work. Um, put it down in the bottom and really slowly, I mean, just put it on low, as low as yours will go. There we go. Now the peanut butter is mixed up again. I'll take a tall spoon and make sure the bottom gets cleaned up, but this is when you get all natural peanut butter, this happens. Now we're gonna make the cookies. Since I made my peanut butter all blended up, and you can do that more than once, obviously. I mean, whenever it separates. Depends how much, I guess, you use your peanut butter. I have the world's easiest keto-friendly peanut butter cookie recipe. One cup of natural peanut butter and this is for clean keto if you do different version of keto by all means use whatever peanut butter you're comfortable using mine is peanuts and salt and these are dry roasted peanuts in the costco brand one egg and you don't even need a hand mixer but with my shoulder it's just easier for me to do that and I do four tablespoons of sugar, of my sugar. This is Lakanto. Now, if you're not keto, use regular sugar. And now you've made peanut butter cookies. There we go. I put this on. I'm going to zhuzh it up, and I'll be right back. Now we have dough. That is literally it. Peanut butter cookies. What I do, is I get it all under one side of the bowl here, and then I scoop them. How many I scoop? I don't know. It depends how many I can get. I got my scooper. Luna, honey. The cat, the dog is going nuts because Wellington is outside. All right, then I just start scooping. And then once I've scooped my whole tray, which I'll get anywhere between 12 and 16 cookies, it just kind of depends. Then I go back with my hands and I just mush them flat. You can use a fork, that's fine. If you want more of a traditional peanut butter cookie, I just use my fingers. I bake them on 350 degrees for, I, I bake mine for like 11 minutes. And then they're done. You let them cool on the pan 
So don't take them off the pan until they're completely cool. I store mine in the refrigerator. I don't know that you need to or not, but I do. And that is it. Those are the peanut butter cookies. Now, if you want to get crazy, you can add chocolate chips. Uh, Lily's makes a chocolate chip that's keto friendly that I've put in here before. This week I'm just doing peanut butter. I will probably eat these, you know, like an ouch, like a dessert after lunch. I just like bang my nail. Um, or whatever, snack at night. I think they would be good to eat before workout. Like a nice uh, high fat protein bar type situation. They won't spread, there's no leavening in these. No soda, no powder, no flour, there's nothing. So whatever shape I put them in is what they're gonna remain. And I will show you when they come out. And the next step I have is I'm gonna fry up some sausage while I have these in the oven. All right, now we're gonna do some meat, some sausage and mushrooms. I just cook them all at the same time, no big deal for me. And then I have to determine what I'm gonna do for breakfast. <laughs> if I'm gonna do hard boiled eggs with sausage, or if I'm gonna do like an egg casserole, I don't know. Right now we're gonna cut up the or cook down the mushrooms and the sausage, and I have my cookies in the oven. And this will be breakfast. I've got my crock pot going still with my pork and sauerkraut. And then my sandwiches, which here in a minute when I make my lunch a little later, I will make, I will show you my sandwich. Oops, but right now I'm just cooking down this sausage and checking on my pork and sauerkraut that's in the crock pot. Nothing too dramatic today. Right, I've got my two cup measure here with about 10 eggs in it and this is my Dollar Tree mixer let's see if it works in here it does what we're trying to do is break the eggs mix them up and not spill them all over the counter all right I'm gonna speed this little process up it is working just takes a minute All right, I think that egg beater thingy is better with less eggs. We have a lot of eggs going on in here. Ooh, look at you. All right. There we go. Okay, eggs are all whipped up. I'm gonna clean up my little container. Oops. Now, let me move you over here. I've got my four Calphalon individual little tartlet pans with sausage, mushroom, and cheese. And then I have this little tiny baking dish. It's adorable for the rest. So we're gonna hope, oh, there's a fly in my house. We're gonna hope like heck. That's my refrigerator, I left it open. Let's see, let me whip that up a little better now. 
Oops. I'm not trying to overfill these like I just did on that one. I mean, it's okay, I have it on a pan. You kind of just want a, ooh, I'm making a mess today, guys. And then a little more in here. Then the rest in here, and there are 10 eggs, if I didn't mention that. And I think we're gonna be perfect. Yep. So we have eggs for days, guys. What I'm gonna do is stick these in the oven and let them bake while I take the dog for a walk. Oop, and shut the refrigerator. And when I come back, I'll show you what they look like when they come out. And when I get ready, I'm gonna make my lunch when I come back too. Luna and I, this is Luna dog. Come on. Going for a walk to the produce stand up the street from me. Were delicious and the sauerkraut and the butter just gives it that little extra something okay so I have my Tupperware little sandwich containers I have two I'm gonna make two sandwiches and my keto bread here so we'll do one sandwich well we can do two at a time let's get crazy shall we so I cut the bread to fit in here we've got turkey breast and lettuce to go on the sandwiches. Hi, Luna. I still have Looney. Two, maybe we'll do three pieces of turkey. What do you think? I think that's sufficient. So we have three. Let's do it this way. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. We'll make it look pretty. Three pieces of turkey. I have a whole piece of lettuce on each one and then the lid that goes on the sandwich and then I'm going to cut them in half. No, I'm not going to cut them in half. I lie because I want to put the mayonnaise and stuff on them at, when I have them for lunch. There we go. So the sandwich fits right down inside. Close it up. In here is some mayonnaise. And then here are some banana pepper rings. And that, the sandwich holder, and that will go in my lunch bag. I love these things. And that is for my lunches. And then breakfast is my little egg pie that I made with sausage and mushrooms. I'm gonna go to the gym in the morning, so I will definitely need to have some breakfast and things. So that is it. That is my lunches for the week. Well, I can grab my lunch box. Let me do that. Oh, and I have, I almost forgot. Let me find it quickly. Here we go. And then, okay, so I have my lunch box here with my Tupperware salt and pepper. My sandwich goes in there. 
with my eggs. So my breakfast and my sandwich, and that'll be perfect. And then I have my Wonder Woman little lunch container, and I'll put two cookies in it and a lid. Hi, honey. So two cookies in a lid, and then my banana peppers. I'll put a, a butter knife in there for my mayonnaise, and then the rest I'll do in the morning when I put my cooler in. So there's my lunch for tomorrow. We are all set for the week, and everybody, you have a great day. Bye.